Hello folks, I'm Spius, the developer of Stardeus, and I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks on how to play the game efficiently. A few build modes that you can use when you're placing floors. You can just place squares. You can hold control and drag a line. You can hold shift and drag a circle. You can hold control alt and delete things. You can hold control shift and that will fill in the areas with the bucket tool. And you can hold alt and do free drawing. You can mass cancel tasks by using the construction tool. Or if you're in the build mode, you can click on the tile one by one. You can use the control alt. Or you can go to the cancel tasks tool and drag it. If you want to cancel multiple tasks, you can use the deconstruct tool and just deconstruct them. Or you can switch into cancel tasks tool and do it this way. In a situation like this, you wouldn't want to use the deconstruct tool to cancel these tasks, because if you would do this, it would also uh, deconstruct the floors. What would you want to do is to use the cancel tasks tool. Use the tab menu, press tab, type, connector. You can use arrow keys left and right to switch through the results. Enter will select. You can type the worker name. Let's see, array robo. And here we go. We focus on the worker. Right clicking any object will show you the most common actions for this object. In case of battery reactor, it will show you the same thing that you get when you go to the fuel menu and some extras. If you want to build a copy of something, you can just right click and there's build a copy. But there's a faster way, you can just click th uh, the object, press B on your keyboard and it will also build a copy. And with energy connectors, you can just drag the connection. This will go, uh, if you click and drag the connector, it enters the connection mode. So you can connect things quickly this way. But if you release the connection on the ground, it will enqueue the construction of a new connector. And when it's done, it will be automatically connected to the one you dragged from. You have to drag more than one tile away from the device to enter this mode. So if you have something very close, you might need to drag a little bit further and then back. Another tip is about processing dead bodies. So you can click on the dead body. You can go to processable and process nutrient source. You can also use the whole tool or Q shortcut key is Q and just drag around things. Let's take a look at the very powerful tool copy configuration. It has copy and paste modes. So imagine if you have the solar panels and a dust storm and you want to disable the auto cleaning of solar panels for the duration of the dust storm. So you would normally go and toggle the auto cleaning here and then select another panel and toggle it, select another panel and toggle it. That's very tedious. So with this copy and paste tool, you can go into copy mode, change one panel, then click on the panel you just changed and you'll get this uh, copy configuration menu. It has a explanation how it works, so you can open it and read it up. But then you can select, for example, cleanable and the auto cleaning configuration can be pasted just like that on all the solar panels. And it shows you which one it, is it copying from using this link in purple lines. And yeah, it automatically switches to the paste mode after, after you copied. Often you can select multiple items, even select something that is not related at all. And you'll have these options. Uh, it shows times 12 on some. So for example, stop growing times 12 would mean that if we execute this, all these planters will, will stop growing what they are growing. There's also an option to just right click and then we can say select wheat and it will be applied to all the 12 planters. 
And you, of course, can use the copy tool on the planters as well. You can just go to copy mode, copy the planter and paste it like that. The storage settings has the auto haul. The auto haul automatically uh, hauls items to the storage, but this happens one item at a time. If you want to haul more items, you should just go and use this tool or Q and then use this tool to mass select things that you want to haul. If you ever need to get something out of the storage, you can go to storage and click eject. It will just eject the thing away. And then you can maybe select this, right click and process or haul to storage to put it back. In the storage settings, you can change what you want to be here. Forbid all will stop bringing things into the storage. Allow selected will allow you to select things you want to be placed here. Forbid selected will place anything except the things you've chosen. And allow all is the default mode where anything goes. You can also use copy paste tool to, to copy door configuration. So for example, these two doors are locked and this airlock is not locked. So if we go to the copy mode, copy the configuration of the lock state and then paste it, we can see the lock disappeared from these doors. If you have a fire and you want to deal with it efficiently, first thing that you need to do is to turn off any oxygen pumps. So go to the oxygen overlay, take a look at where the green areas are, and there's a pump here. It's pretty close, so let's turn it off. You can just right click it and switch off. And then there is an oxygen pump built into the stasis array, so you have to turn that off as well, especially if the fire is near the stasis array. Go to the stasis array menu and go to the oxygen pump and toggle it off. Turning off the oxygen pump is not enough. We need to make sure that the area gets vented. The easiest way to do this if there are no walls facing the outside is just to remove a bunch of floors nearby. And the fire is almost gone. A quick way to rebuild things is just to select a tile nearby, click B, and then drag and release. Don't forget to turn on the pumps after you dealt with fire because your colonists will be unhappy. When you select something and open a menu, for example for, for the oxygen pump, if you select another object which has the same component, the menu will keep open. You can see the oxygen pump menu is open. If you select a shower, the menu is gone. But if you select this back, the menu will be open again. You have to right click to close it and clear the memory. Stasis Array has the cryo stability menu. And there's the life support, which defaults to basic. If you toggle it, the area will eat much more electricity. But then you can request colonist wake ups. And you also can adjust the wake up priority that will happen naturally. If you get the construction error for lacking materials, you can always double check in this panel here. So there's not enough glass. And if you hover, you see where. A very common situation early in the game is when you get the matter reactor or some other device not being constructed with the error that grounded worker could not reach the required material. Check if worker has an unblocked path to the material. So this might be very annoying. And the reason for this is that this little robot here is checking for materials in the section that he can reach. So for example, this time he's in the section number four. And this section contains copper, which is required to build this reactor, but the copper is only accessible from the outside. So the robot cannot jump or cannot fly and cannot access this copper. To fix the situation, you should just remove the piece of wall to make sure that the robot can go through. If you're playing on a laptop and your laptop is heating up, go to video settings and change the advanced piece background disable it. It's actually gonna make a big difference on low-end hardware. If you are in a build mode and place something not where you want it to place it, you can click back and it will delete things. 
If you have lost your research tree or star map, hit C and it will refocus. In the star map, you can actually fly to arbitrary locations by clicking any spot and clicking travel here. Now let's take a look at the crafting menus. So when you select an object you want to craft, there is this target inventory. It actually can be toggled to unlimited, custom amount, and back to target inventory. So this will actually count how many items you have. Looks like you have 316 and it's targeting 10. So you can target 20. It will still not produce because you have more than, than necessary in your inventory. If you go to unlimited, it will keep producing forever. If you go to custom amount, you can adjust some custom amount and it will produce this amount and stop. Then you will have to reconfigure it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Stardias. See you soon.